Hello, welcome to another Warframe video. Today we are gonna focus on a loadout I prefer for current Plague Star event. As you can see I'm using a Rhino here, whose build I will show at the end. If you have Xenostar, do use it. It's not highly recommended but it will make things easier. For primary use a critical base good rifle, type and prime, baza, etc. You can use viral or gas damage. For movement, I prefer using Operator Dash. You need Nariman and Zenric Waybound passives for this or you can use Long Range on Rhino and just keep using a first skill to cover long distances. Now comes the important part, the real reason for Zenistar I use, is to keep infested away from me and squad mates if they are closer to me, to avoid getting attacked by them. So what you need to do here is, you stop when they open their hittable areas, to stop them for a few seconds. During that time you can easily kill that part, if all squad mates shoot at it. If you use 4 tails, then every new Hemazite comes out with increased level, but with this method you can kill it easily. This was a public squad and at the end of the mission you will see I did the most damage, so if you go with a properly formed squad then you can complete the entire mission quickly. This final stage with 4 Hemazites took me 6 minutes 40 seconds, and more than 10 minutes on just previous bounty stage. So with proper squad you can easily reduce the overall time. For now I'll put this on fast forward, so that you don't have to sit through entire fight. So, easy right? You barely get killed thanks to Rhino's second skill and enough buff for weapons to kill. On average it takes 15 to 16 minutes with public squad. You can see 17 minutes, but it's thanks to squad members who took forever to complete first stage, anyways you got the point. So the build is simple, you see Piora. Steel fiber to increase Rhino's armor, you might think of putting narrow minded there but you don't need lot of duration, cause if you mess up the timing you'll waste time until duration ends. I'm using 175 range to cover most area, as I mentioned earlier, if you don't have operator dash then use overextended to cover more distance with Rhino charge but I'll have to mod it accordingly and would suggest having some decent strength for buffing weapons. You can use natural talent to speed up your stomp, so that you can time it properly. For Oxalus Lot use any mod you prefer, well with this, the video guide is complete. Feel free to ask any query in comment below. 
Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. See y'all in next video.